the array that splice method changes an array by removing or replacing existing elements from it. It gets a starting index, a count, meaning how many elements you want to remove, and it can also get optionally new elements which will be placed inside of the array. In the end, it will change the array on which is called upon and it will return an array with the removed items. It's a tricky method, so let's look at some examples. Here we have the numbers array, which is an array of five numbers from one to five. Let's remove the last three elements from the array. Numbers, that's splice. So as I said, first it needs the starting index. So in our case would be zero, one, two. Next will be how many items we want to remove. And in our case, we want one, two, three items. And we can optionally pass in new items. But for now, let's just remove them. So console.log now, the numbers. We can see that our array was manipulated. It was changed. And if we're going to store what is returned from the splice method, let's call result or let's call them deleted because that's what it is, deleted, we're going to get an array of all the elements which are deleted. Let's add new elements in place of the ones we're deleting it. So instead of 3, 4, 5, let's add 6 and 7. These come as parameters for the function. As many numbers you want to add, you can add them at the end. And now if we're console logging both the numbers array to see what happened with it, and the deleted array, we can see that now we have 1, 2, 6 and 7 in the first array because we removed 3, 4 and 5. Another example could be if, let's say, you don't want to remove anything from the array, but instead you want to add in something. So we can change this count property to 0 so that we're not removing any elements, but instead we want to push 6 and 7 starting from the two index. Let's see how that looks. We can see that our deleted array is now empty, but inside of the numbers array, we have one, two, six, and seven, because we started from the index number two and we added two numbers, six and seven. We can add here as many numbers we want, and it will be added inside the array. Now, this is not the best way to add items inside of an array, but it's possible using the splice method. Don't forget that the splice method will change the array on which is called upon, which is not always the best way to do it.